everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a look for you to keep myself out of the fridge because I can't keep out of it. I was going to do a painting, but that is in the that is in the kitchen. So I've come at the other end of the house. I'm nowhere near the fridge because I don't know what's the matter. I don't know if it's the weather, the fact that it's that time in the month, but I cannot stop eating. So this is going to save me for at least half an hour. But anyway, this is what this is so funny. I've just looked at this. Look at that blood sugar. What an aptly named palette to go with this look. <laughs> right, okay, so I've already got foundation on. I'm using this one today. It's the Natasha, Natasha Denona Transformat Pore Minimising Foundation. Love this one. This is the light one, the very fair. And under that, no primer. But I've been using this. I got it sent by Good Molecules. I'm on the PR list. And this here, it's pure cold pressed rose hip seed oil and you apply it like um freshly damp skin so I, I basically get the flannel and really like hot hot water get all my pores open and then just let my skin cool a little and then i rub this in all over and honestly it's me making my skin feel really 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 soft really like that actually so i didn't feel like i need to put a base on this has just gone flying on with me sponge I love me sponges off nicola and then off we go so i've got the p louise base out and i'm using this one because it's just fantastic honestly i used it last time i did my makeup look and i had i hadn't used it before because i looked at it and thought that's going to be too light it's just perfect so i apply it with my fingers but we'll get this all on and you know what i loved about it right it just does not sit in the crease like some some um primers you put on your eye and it as you'll know as you get older you get a little bit crease and wrinkle and sometimes it just looks horrific once you put your base on and then your eyeshadow and then you turn around after you feel like you've done a good job and everything's just in the crease this doesn't crease it's brilliant so if you're looking for something to use to keep your makeup in place, the P. Louise bases, I'm absolutely loving, loving them. Now, Ashley got me these. She's a gem. She sent a massive bag full. She picked loads out. And she's just so lovely. So I've had these for a while now. The brightly coloured ones, I still need to look at some videos to find out what to do with them. I use some of them as eyeliners, but they don't come off. And I noticed last time when I was talking about it because the colour, the stain the eyelid. So you've got to be careful because I had like pink eye for, well, a couple of weeks. It just wouldn't come off. No matter what product I used to get rid of it. Somebody mentioned to use a Mary Kay. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure I saw that comment. Got a lot of comments on that last video. So thank you. I love, I love reading all your comments. I do read them all, I just can't get around to replying to them all at the same time. So just bear with us, I'll do my best. There we go, just patting it on basically. It's really good to get a nice background of this. Just put a little bit more on. And sometimes when I'm squeezing, like sometimes when I'm doing my makeup with the hands, I'm still I'm squeezing really hard, it must be tensed or something, and you end up losing the low delta tube. I used to do that with something else, what was it? I can't remember, it might be an Urban Decay. Anything squeezy, and I just squeeze without even realising it. So there's a little tip for you. Put it down if you're a squeezer, because it'll just squeeze all over the place and you lose it, and it's valuable liquid. Right, so next up, let's go into the blood sugar palette. I thought I'd try an Inglo. Is it Inglo, Inglot? I'm sure it's Inglot. But if it was T, T, it would be, it would be a double T. And if it was O, it would be T. Does that make sense? Someone, I'm sure someone told us this already, but you know what I'm like. Right, so I need a brush. Let's have a look. That's, oh, that's, no, that's a bit long. We're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yes, yes. Right, right. I know what I'm doing. Okay, right. Tongue pop. No. Yes. Ah! I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> Help. Right, so gonna go in with this one I'm feeling like I'm gonna go this no that one that one that one first we're gonna go in with cake mix cake mix I'll do no help okay cake mix see you can tell I haven't thought this one through I just needed to get out that kitchen yeah 
Oh, okay. I'm happy I made that decision. That's gorgeous. Today I wanted to do something I haven't done because I feel like sometimes you get stuck in the same rut. Am I the only one? Like you just see the flick, you're putting the same colours on over and over. And I've got that many palettes and there's just no reason to be putting the same colours on. So I thought, right, I don't want to just chuck a load of crap on just to prove a point, but I want to do something different. So this actually might turn out better than I expected. I thought this colour was going to be quite light, but it's not really like this and I love the idea of using crease colours that are kind of mm, they're an in-betweeny colour do you know what I mean so it's nothing too nasty I don't want to cover the video so you can't see it can you see everything all right just so I can see because I'm getting blind you know it's this old age e, I've been telling people for the last couple of years that I'm 40 because I feel like I've been 40 for a long long time and it's really funny because I'm not even there yet but next year like this sorry this year December I'll be 40 and it's crazy because when I was little I never ever thought of me ever being 40 I, this does it's so crazy and I was talking to Helen my sister the other day on the phone and we were talking like she's you know she's fed up with getting older as well and and she was saying that when you were when we were younger you always say to people, E, I'm 12 and three quarters, because you always want to be older. And now you just think, well, I don't actually know how old I am. I forgot counting. I'm fed up with counting and just forget. Do you know what I mean? Until someone points out that you were born on a certain date. So, see, I'm not very good at math, so it's good for me. I don't know how. She was like, Helen's, I'd say, five years younger than I am. She was in 86, I was 81. Because I was 81, it's easy to work mine out, but I'd completely just, I don't know, some people tell us the date of birth and I just think, I, I get a brain fart, I can't even figure it out. That's just me. I think I've got a, a problem with my attention span and stuff like that. But I, didn't, I never was good at counting in maths at school. Very good at arty stuff. And I loved drama. Loved pretending. I just pretending because I'd grew up as a kid pretending like I pretended to have friends because I didn't have any so I was really good at pretending and I used to talk to people and there was no one there just pretend and it was really great I really fell for it and like imagined I had lots of friends and it used to just I just just oh it was brilliant so when I did the BBC a couple of years ago over at the Metro Centre and I'm giving a bit of the secrets away here but you'll notice it if you watch the news I'm going to be honest because I people will know. So when you're sitting, if you watch the news, you'll see the camera flip to them. Then it'll flip, flip to the subject. And sometimes you can't get the both of them in. So you'll see the camera flip to the interviewer. And the interviewer is doing this and talking to her. her. There's nobody there. I did it. I know this now and I can see the secrets. So when I'm watching Tally, I think they're talking to themselves for the camera for continuity to pretend there's somebody there. Like, for instance, if the person, if the subject's gone, but you need to redo a, a question or something like that. So we did it at the Metro Centre with the BBC. I think it was the BBC. Or might have been, might have been the other thing. I don't know. But it was one of them. And you have to pretend that there's someone there. And so I had to, like... I suppose it's a bit like pretending that yous are there. I know yous are going to be there, but you're not there at the minute. It's really weird. Am I weird? <laughs> yes, I'm weird. Hmm. Anyway, you can't win them all. So I think I've got a nice base on here now, haven't I? I'm loving this background colour. I can tell this look is going to look really nice when I'm done. So I'm just making sure I really blend this out. Give it a bit of a push there. And I do have a spot somewhere here and every time I pluck my eyebrows I seem to make it worse and then makeup sticks to it and it highlights but I really love that colour and I'm nine minutes in already Lauren I don't half yap right I'm gonna go on with a smaller fluffy brush now that one's the longer one look I really wish I could make these again I hopefully one day hopefully one day and I'll, I'll have enough money to get them all made again and that would be like my dream come true my second dream come true because I've already had the first one. Yes. Now we're going with Intravenous. Mm. Yeah. 
let's go in with a little bit of intravenous to the outer air. Yeah. Oh, hang on. No. Yes. 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 Intravenous. Lovely dark brown one here. I'm going to go in with this one. I've got China Glaze fingernails. Never bother putting my nails on, but I just thought, you know what? I fancy something different. So I thought I'm going to put a little bit of dark red. I love like dark red wine colours on my nails or black or French manicure look, but I'm not really keen on anything else. I'm, I'm very simple when it comes to what I like on my nails. I'm just kind of, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Put this there. So basically, I'm just kind of pushing back and forward just I tell you what this primer is so brilliant like I can manipulate the colors blend put is or oh, the blending is much better it, you know it's it is a lot to do with your um the way you do things like your techniques but it's also so much to do with your bases your primers your um like with, with me acrylics that I do I love painting and sometimes it depends on the actual acrylic paint, like the consistency of it. And it just messes your paint up. If you haven't primed things right, you mess your paint up again. It is all about the tools, the bases, and then your technique. But if your technique's good and your bases and tools are crap, that's it. It's just no good. You've got to have it all. And I'm loving this colour positioning here. really loving it it's just so soft but look at it it's building up and that's the intravenous which is a very dark ready chocolate brown and it's sitting on top of cake mix really nice just don't want too much on i might go in a little bit but i don't want it too far do you know what i mean oh i'm excited i love I'm, obviously i'm still furloughed and i've been furloughed for quite a while now since january start of january and it's, it, it gets a bit sick then being in the house all by yourself. There's nowhere to go. I mean, I go out for walks if it's nice. Like the weekend, me and Martin did 16 mile, I think it was. 16 mile, just round the coastline, up and down the street. Um, we'll go to the beach a lot. And just walk, get exercise, because it does your head in when you're not moving. But it's been raining now for three days practically three two two to three days and like, i don't really want to go out on that and i haven't even been bothered to go on my treadmill which is annoying because when i go on there i love it i just can't get enough like if i start that's it i'm off and i can do a good half an hour staring into space listening to my music just thinking and then like wow you know you've you've run a you've walked a couple of mile and you've burned a few hundred calorie off or whatever and it's good but then it's, it's getting on it and it's like ugh I'm just doing it I'm gonna go over with this longer brush it's all 13 minutes it's not too bad I really can't thank you enough for enjoying because I know you enjoy because I see the comments and he's like just lovely you always enjoy me videos and like I don't know if, if something awful happened to us obviously I couldn't come on here but as long as I can I'll always come on here for you it's because you've been so absolutely supportive for us I'm just putting my rings right because that keeps sticking in my finger these have all been absolutely supportive for my channel all the way through like I seriously can't thank you enough for that I wish there was one way I could meet you all but I know it's not possible so just know that I think about not letting you down often and if i don't come on here i feel horrible so yeah um what what now let's go in underneath i think i'm gonna go underneath and we're gonna go in with a smaller yeah this one's still a bit dirty off last time i did me hit me me hair <laughs> me eyes but i'm gonna go in with ouch am i hmm maybe yeah let's go in with a bit of ouch this one here and i'm going underneath now that might be the right brush to use might be the wrong brush i don't know I should have put some P. Louise base under here as well, shouldn't I? Oh, 
I like that, it's so subtle. And then I can put the dark on the outer corner. Yeah. Eee, dear me. I came downstairs the other day and I said, it's, it's because I was on, on Facebook and now you've got like your memories. And one of my memories was of me when I was a bigger girl years ago when I did all the makeup stuff. And there's a picture of us in the, it's on the tour bus. And my hair is so dark and it wasn't hair dyed at the time. It was actually natural colour. It was so dark. I couldn't believe it. And I says to Martin, you know what's mad? My hair's lightened really much lighter than it was before. He says, yeah, because it's probably got grey in it. And I says, oh, cheers. Thanks very much. And then I thought, you know what? He's got a point. <laughs> I think it is. I've got like the salt and pepper look. So my natural hair's grown through, look. But it's even, even that, that looks dark now because it's like it needs to go in the wash. But it is actually a lot lighter than it used to be. And it's because I'm going grey. Hi. You can always count on men for the truth, can't you? Now let's go in with a little bit of dark on the outer corner. Hang on, just to make sure we've got that the same. Little bit of dark. There we go. I'm just going back in with intravenous, which is the outer corner up here. And it can just kind of push that up a bit as well while I'm at it. Mm. I do like this look. I was a bit concerned because I thought, where's it going? How is it going to look? But I think the base has just made it fantastic. I'm going to have to get some more of it before I run out because I just love it. And I'm going to go through loads of this. There we go. So I've got my basis on. Now let's do something else. So a flat eyeshadow brush. This one's the MAC one. And I think I'm going to go in with a bit of candy floss. Yes. I hope it works out. Shall I? Or sweetener? Should it? No, I'm not doing sweetener. No. Donor. Donor? Uh oh. Donor or sweetener? Sweetener. Sweetener, because we do a lot of gold looks, don't we? We're going to go in with sweetener. I'm going to lay on thick. Martin's on his break. But bless him, he's got no battery charger. His phone's dead. He's just sent an attachment of something. I don't know what he's doing. I'll have to have a look at that in a bit. I hope he doesn't try and ring. I don't know if it'll come through, actually. That's nice. I didn't know whether to keep it matte or... Put a bit of sparkle to it, but I'm gonna. I'm glad I've done that. I just need to make sure that I get blended back. I don't want that overflowing on that outer corner. I might try to put a bit more intravenous just to go back there. I really want it darkened. I love the fact it's building layers and it just looks lush when you do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a bit of glucose, am I? Yeah, I'm going to try a little bit of glucose just on the inner corner and I need a small brush for that, don't I? Yeah, this is a great brush. This one's not the Airshow brush. This is a small smudge and I'm not kidding, these brushes are amazing. I always put links up for you in case you want to get them. And if you use my Panacea 81 code, you get extra percentage off. I don't know how much it is, but it's quite a lot. And the brushes are really affordable as it is. Looks, I've lightened that right up. And then I put a little bit there as well. Hang on, it will go. And then under there as well. And this is the time when you find out you've got eye bogies. Some things up me nose. Now, I think I need to go in with a nice, I'm gonna do the brown again. Now, this is something Doll Beauty sent and I absolutely love. This one's Espresso. I usually use black eyeliner, but I think it'll be too harsh with the pinks and the browns, so I'm going to go in with this one here. And this is Espresso, and I love it. I used it last time, and it goes on the waterline and the actual eyelid just smoothly. It's brilliant. And then you're not left with this harsh black line, which I like about it. See, it's not as harsh and I just love it. I never ever was a fan of brown eyeliner. Then I've got to be honest, when Doll Beauty sent them, they both sent them brown, there's no black. And I just thought, hmm, I'm not a fan of brown, but I've used it and I couldn't believe how lovely it looked. So, it's probably much better for me because 
as my eyes have aged as well sometimes black can make us look a bit too pulled in it's not a nice look now I think I've got to do eyeliner on this but I don't want to ruin it because it is lovely maybe I think what I'll do is I'll just take my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in the top and I'm going to darken this right out with some intravenous or do I put a bit of liner on don't want to ruin it Oh, let's have a look see if we can get some out of this so this one's fluid line black track it has light it has dried up a bit like oh no it's still it's still all right i was gonna do like wet no that's dried out might end up ruining it but we'll see yeah no that's dried out that's no good whatsoever now what have i got i've got something around here i haven't that right, hang on it's going to be actually because hmm, I do love me um I've got a lovely I can't remember the name of it it's doing my head in oh, anyway it was a, an eyeliner and I always used it Let's see no it's just actually actually if I just darken that out lift it a bit but just do the same on that side I'll need some more on there I'm gonna have to get a little bit more on let's make sure I get it on there okay there we go Some people do this eyeliner trick and they make it look flawless and effortless. <sighs> I'll just put something on the top of my eye. And I can't. Not not with like a dry eyeliner. I can sometimes do it if I'm whizzing over with like a, a fine tip pen. Fine tip pens are ideal. But not I'm going to take that eyeliner back off there and I'm going to go in over that with intravenous. This is the eyeshadow, the dark eyeshadow I'm using. That's better. Oh, that's nice. See? Just kind of smudge it. I didn't want anything harsh on the eyes today. But I needed a background. So that's really nice. And I'll just get a bit more on there to really smudge that in. Yeah. Now I think what I'll do is this pencil brush that I've done all that with. I'm going to just go over that and just smudge it in. Just a little bit. E, on on Instagram now this is a long time ago I did Nicola's makeup in the kitchen at her house this is ages and ages ago and she loved the makeup look and it was to show her like what to do so she does it herself now and she's brilliant but when we did it we uploaded a picture of it to Instagram and today I've only just noticed that Maybelline have actually said that she looks flawless can they use it for the um for instagram so we'll quick, i've quickly replied with yes but i hope i haven't missed it because it's too low, late but it's fantastic so i've took some screenshots and it's just it's just sent a message there saying it's exciting it is though it's brilliant really good now i'm gonna do some mascara so i'm using doll 10 beauty effort lash xl 24 minutes that's all right that's all right let's hope this works I've never used Doll 10 Beauty mascara before. And as you know, I love me NYX on the rise. So it's a hard mascara at the beat. It's not bad. It's not I like the brush. I think the prong, like the bristles, could have been slightly longer for me. But maybe. Let's have a look. Maybe after I've gotten my second coat on, I might 
help, and it'd be all right, mightn't it? Hobbies can see what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing my makeup over here. Can you see? Otherwise, the the mirror is just gonna eat the whole camera space up. Oh, I did a hair mask yesterday. It was look. Does it? No, the day before. I did. Let's see. So basically, oh, I hope I don't pull anything over. Yeah. Right. So I do this all the time. Love it. And then to, I did this. So you've got your Color Extend, lovely shampoo. Really gives you that cool look on the hair because I don't like warm brassy tones at the minute. I'm right into my cool, cool tones. This one's Red Can All Soft. And I did use this yesterday for the first time ever. I've had it a while, but I've got the, the Leave-Ins uh, Mega Melt. Yeah, Mega Melt or Hydra Melt. I think it's mega melt mega melt uh, conditioning and i'll leave that in so i didn't bother with this usually but i thought i'm gonna have a go and have a try oh <gasps> geez i'm in love felt like silk my hair felt really like silk didn't at the time i thought oh it's never it's not really done anything it wasn't until i started drying it i realized how amazing it made my hair feel and then i love these i'm just in love with my brush and I'm not sponsored or anything. I wish I was, but I'm not. So this GHD Glide Brush, my favourite piece of technology ever. And my hair is just sleek and shiny and mega soft. And, ah, yeah. I'm nearly 40 and I've never played with my hair. And I've just started playing with my hair and it's exciting. So anyway, right. So quickly moving on. We've done the mascara. You know what? I'm really impressed with that mascara. Look at that. Bearing in mind, my eyelashes are not what they used to be. They've been a bit pooey lately. That doesn't look so bad. I'm happy about that. Now, so this brush here is the Asia one. This is out the recycled. It's not recycled, but it's the, the brush that, that it's in is recycled. And it's a really good brush set. I'm going to go in with Nip and Fab Caramel. This is the bottom one. Love this palette. Just absolutely love it. It's the contour number one light palette. Give this a good out the corner i just love love this palette it's got a bit of everything in for you so you'll you know whatever skin tone you are it'll catch perfect for you however i think there is a darker one as well this might be the lightest one so apologies for that there is another one so you'll get the color that you need but i just love this because it's got a bit of everything in for me it's got me highlights got me bronzer and uh yeah really impressed with it the only thing I haven't got in here is anything sparkly, but well, there's a little bit of sparkle in porcelain. But it's not a sparkly palette, which I'm fine about because I've got other sparkly stuff. Just give that, yeah. And then put some blush on. I was going to use Inglot or Inglo. We'll give that a go and see how it gets on. Is a bit more Ta -da. that stuck <laughs> I must have had a bit of foundation that I hadn't pl uh, pow um, sponged in because it's stuck there that there now where's me stuff ah there we go so I'm going to use this one here I really don't know the name of it see the bottom of the metal pan right I'll have a look in a minute I can't take that out in a hurry because it'll be there all day and then it'll smash all over my carpet so I'll do it at a more convenient time. Which brush shall we use? Hmm. This is so many. Ah, oh, lovely. Look at this one. Kiko. I love me Kiko brushes. I don't even know where they've gone. Half of them are in the wash. Yeah, I need to get my brushes washed. But I've got that many. I look at the tub and think, help. And I'll just use a clean one that I've already got up here. So anyway, yeah, we'll go. Oh, hey. I like that. 
Now this is probably not the best brush to put it on with, but you know what? I don't care. It is lovely. I love that it's got just the right amount of shimmer in. It's lovely and strong and stubbly, so you can get right on there. I think I've actually mixed in a little bit of something that's fell on the cheek. But it wouldn't be my makeup tutorial if I didn't, so. I really like that. I'm glad to move on quickly because it's getting on and these videos are getting really long for you. Now, lips, I decided on something simple. Nothing fancy, nothing, I haven't really got a lip liner that's going to work, I don't think. Might do actually, let's have a look. What's this one? Hmm, yes. Right, just for backup. I don't think I need it, but just just for backup and use some products for you to show you is Max Factor. This one here is Pink Princess number four. And I think it's a gorgeous pink. It is gonna go lovely with the lip I've chosen. ready I like to fill them in the lipstick I've chosen is this one here I'm loving doll 10 beauty products at the moment the quality is amazing and the colors are just nice so baby doll this one here not lovely I'm so so grateful to send us these products because I would never have I wouldn't have even known about the brand had they not sent them. It was James actually. Um I think he's got he's he's on their PR list and he asked them if I could be. And before lockdown the original they said they'd send some things out and then it fine the finally it came through because obviously it was a long time with the lockdown. And honestly I couldn't I couldn't stop staring at the products. They all come in a massive bag like this. And there's just so many different things. Um, and I'm, I constantly speak highly of the brand. If you get your chance to get some Doll Beauty, Doll 10, I would, I would definitely recommend. This is just the, um, it all tastes like vanilla as well, it's lush. This is just the lip gloss that comes on the other end of it. So Baby Doll, really nice. Now, I haven't done a brow, have I? What was I going to do with my brows? There was something. I don't want to do too much because actually they're quite dark looking already. I don't think I want to do anything with them. They're already in good nick because of... Where have I put it? There. My little rosehip oil. And this is another thing. I don't talk about good molecule stuff enough. I use it a lot in the background. I use a lot of like the, the niacinamide. It's like a skin brightening solution. And I really, I think I spoke about this last time, it's actually helped my skin not be as pigmented because, is it pigmented or pigmentation? It's like helped the pigmentation because sometimes I get really patchy. So I've been using that. And then the latest thing that the scent is, this is the Yebra Matte Wake Up Eye Gel. Good molecules. And honestly, I'm not going to put it on now because I've put my makeup on. But it was funny because I was just sitting there and I'd had really, really horrible sore eyes of staring at me painting staring at me phone um and just just ugh, i don't know they just felt sore and pulled and tired and they kept like you know twitching and because i'm not sleeping very well and then this came and i put it on and honestly it feels amazing so i've stuck it in the fridge with me aloe vera gel so anything like whenever i get my eye feel fatigued i just stuff that on and it's just fantastic but yeah, this has been going on all over my skin and I even push it into my eyebrows and the, the shape of them is quite all right. So I'm not going to mug about. I'm leaving it there. This is the look done. I really hope you like it. I love it. I'll take a photo for you and I'll stick it on Instagram and then we'll get this video uploaded and I'll be working on my next one for you because I don't know when I'm going back to work. So I'll get some in the bank for you because I do love doing them. Just sometimes I don't have 
you know, I, I come on and think, unless I'm right in a really good mood, I don't really want to come on and be miserable ever for anybody. So anyway, I hope you are keeping well. Stay safe. Zoom, zoom.